today's term is, well, there is no term. Today is just about, can psychology be taught? Two psychologists at the University of Michigan conducted an experiment which consisted of 15 participants which each one had to go to a phone booth and talk to a microphone about himself and his personal life. The other participants are just sitting in another room and just listening to the voice of the other participant which is talking. One of these participants is an actor. He had to play the act of a stressed guy that always gets into panic attacks. So when it is his turn, he goes into the phone booth and talk about his stress and that he feels that he is going to have a panic attack right now, as was planned before. As he is talking, he acts as he is panicked and he is dying right now. And the other participants only hear the sound of choking. So the psychologists were ready to see which participant act out and go for help. Surprisingly, only 4 out of 15 participants went for help, which would be only 27% of them. But if we asked them before the experiment was conducted that if this situation happened to you, what will you do? They will mostly answer that naturally they will go for help. But in this case, individuals feel relieved of responsibility when they know that Others have heard the same request for help. So in this case, it's not their obligation to act out initially. Okay, the result of this experiment was 27%. Now psychologists tried to understand if we explain the result to people, in this case the students of psychology, would it matter or not? So they built two groups of students. For group 1, they completely explained the experiment and also explained the result of that experiment. So they told them that only 27% of these students responded to the person in need of help. But for group 2, they didn't explain neither the result nor the process of the experiment. After that, they showed an interview of the participants to both of the groups and asked them to guess if they go for help or not. Both groups predicted that the participants would go for help if they find out someone in need of help. Unfortunately, this showed the psychologists that the group one that had been taught about the result actually learned nothing at all. So psychologists were getting disappointed because it may seem that all the talking about the statistics, numbers, 27%, all the explaining didn't matter. It's just that we are like robots and do as we are programmed to do. But they didn't lose hope, so they have tried another method. The psychologists found out that if they want to teach students, they must surprise them. So they showed the interview of two nice people to the students and told them that these two nice people that you're seeing right now, they didn't help the person in need. And now the students were surprised. How is it possible? So if that's the case, most of the participants will not help the person in need because these two persons were so nice when they are not helping the other person in need of help so probably most of the other participants wouldn't go for help. Nisbet and Borgida were the two psychologists that conducted all of these experiments. They summarized the result in a memorable sentence which is probably confusing. The sentence is this Subjects' unwillingness to deduce the particular from the general which is 27%, the statistics, was matched only by their willingness to infer the general from the particular, which is inferring the two nice person to the other participants generally. So I know, it was so confusing. But remember that we like to infer particular events to a general idea. That was the thing that I explained in episode 10 
the law of small numbers. We like to infer particular instances to a general idea. That's not the way of thinking. But if we want to be effective to teach people to understand about facts, this is the best way. This is profoundly important conclusion. There is a deep gap between our thinking about statistics and our thinking about individual cases. People who are taught surprising statistical facts about human behavior may be impressed to the point of telling their friends about what they have heard. But this doesn't mean that their understanding of the world has really changed. Remember that we are people of tales and stories. We are not hardwired to understand numbers and figures. Well, I have to say, unfortunately.